This video is part of my 1 to 99 skill guide. If you want to learn the best way of achieving max level, click the first link in the description to go to the main guide. Hello everyone, Chaos here and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, prayer training methods. Today we will take a look at setups and tips for the Gilded Altar, the Chaos Altar and finally in Soul Heads, which is way more fun. What I am about to say seems fairly lazy, but hear me out. The experience and cost per hour will depend on what you decide to use and how efficient you are. I can only tell you the rates I was getting with the Dragon Bones and Ensouled Dragon Heads, which was about 300k experience per hour for each one. Honestly, this will depend on the type of bone and head you decide to use. However, you can go to the wiki and look at the expected experience per hour for each type of bone and head, and you can decide which one you want to go for. So for now, let's just focus on the methods themselves. You only need certain requirements for Ensouled Heads since the the other two methods are available to you right away. For the level requirements, you need as little as 3 magic all the way to 95 since the amount of heads you can reanimate is fairly big. For the quest requirements, there's nothing stopping you, although you need 60% Arceus favor. For the item requirements, you need bones for the first two methods, and for the Ensoul head methods, you obviously need Ensoul heads and the different types of runes to cast each respective spell. To use the more traditional Gilded Altar method, go to a hosting world with money and noted bones. Enter an open house, use your bones on the altar either by AFKing or one by one if you want to make it done quicker and then exit. There is an NPC which will unnote your bones near the portal, so use your noted bones on him. Pay up, unnote your bones and go back to the house to repeat the process. The Chaos Altar is pretty much the same, but there are more ways to go about it. However, I will give you my recommended method. Take an inventory full of bones, Go to a house with a portal nexus, and then go to Garok, which is near the Chaos Altar. Enter the building, and use your bones the same way you did in the previous method. Once you are done, attempt to grab the wine on the table to take damage and die. Spawn in Lombridge, go to the bank, grab more bones, and then repeat this process. Some people take items that damage you to make the suicide process faster, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. If you're a more skilled PvP player, some people take full tank gear as well as their noted bones, since there is an NPC which can also unnote them for you, and they stay here until they start being attacked by PKers. I honestly suck at PvP and I hate the wilderness, so I never tried this method, but give it a try if your budget is a little bit more tight. Finally, for the Ensoul heads, grab your usual combat gear, and soul heads and the respective runes. Go near the dark altar and cast your spell on it to reanimate the head. A monster will spawn, so beat it for you to gain prayer experience and repeat this until you reach your desired level. This method is a little bit cheaper than dragon bones on a gilded altar despite the experience rates being around even, so I guess the money saved here comes at the cost of inconvenience, since this method can be slightly more annoying and less AFK. And that's pretty much it, three great ways to blow tons of cash for easy prayer levels. I will see you in another video if you decide to keep watching. Best of luck and have a great day.